Hello everyone, Silver Conundrum here. I come to you today with this little offering. Well, this is 23 ounces I picked up yesterday that I was telling you about in yesterday's video. So these are little 1 ounce bars, a 10 ounce eBay bar, a kangaroo bar, I picked up 6 dragon bars, 2 Atmex bars, and a couple of regular generic rounds. Now these 6 bars right here are just coins, but they're bars, but they're coins. These are your generics. And I'll show these off to you. So, my grand total price on these right here were right around 600 and some change. Uh, picked everything up for about $27 and some change, roughly a piece, an ounce. I uh, showed you guys my eBay bars in the past video. I'm a sucker for the eBay bars. I've been trying to get my hands on them. I'm just a collector of them just because I like them because they're an oddity. As you can see, it's got some toning on them. Almost looks like a welder's mark. If you guys do any welding, you know what I'm talking about. That's what it looks like. I uh, picked up a kangaroo dreaming. This car, this bar right here is going to the deep stack. Pretty nice little bar. That's the front of it. You guys see the spot price today? Spot price was when I started this video off was $27.03. Man, I tell you guys what. JM Bullion is going to be busy. Scottsdale is going to be busy. Everybody's going to be trying to get their hands on silver. I'm trying to let you guys see what this thing says so y'all can read it. And uh, everybody and their mama. Is going to be after silver now. It is on the rise, guys. Quite literally. The Comex is at war right now. Bankers are at war with silver and gold. And the reason why I say that is, silver and gold is breaking away from all the normals. JP Morgan and Chase, Scotia Bank is out of the picture. With the eye of the Federal Reserve, not Federal Reserve, excuse me, with the FBI. And all the other entities watching the Comexes, what they're doing right now. Nobody is able to uh, trick the markets. So, in my opinion, I think that's what's going on. They're not able to beat silver prices down. So, silver is going to do exactly what it's going to do. And that's what we're faced with, folks. So... What's your opinions? Do you think that's a possibility? If you haven't started stacking silver, guys, now's the time to do it. Any time is the right time. Just wanted to show all this off. Miss Lisa wasn't at the shop yesterday, so I can't give you guys my shop's name without their permission. Just a courtesy. Uh, whenever she gets in, I'll give you guys that information. And uh, if she lets me, and you guys can call them directly and see what they have. But I'm not going to throw it up there without that permission. Like I said, it's just a courtesy, professional courtesy, so to speak. The guy that was in there yesterday, man, he was so happy to be buying bars or ounces of gold. It was pretty neat. I had a comment yesterday saying he should have stuck with the silver, and I agree. But at the same time, it's not my place to tell him. I picked up this particular bar though, guys, for posterity's sake. Look at that. Scotia Bank. Just because they're out of the silver trade now, as of about a month or two ago, I just had to pick it up just because. I'm going to clean this thing off too, just so we can get all the fingerprints out of it. But... Got some Atmex bars. Then we got some of the older Atmex bars also. Let you guys see what they look like. Ain't nothing too fancy. Yep. Oh, I don't think I pulled the other Atmex bars out, gentlemen. Nope, I did not. Apparently I didn't grab them. These are the only ones that I grabbed. They had a few other ones there. But anyway, I just want to show you guys what the yesterday's pickup was. 
and let you know that, hey, if you haven't got silver, now's a good time to get it. You guys need to think about what's going on in the world. Read up. They're talking about sending everybody stimulus checks again, people. That means more printing of the currency, more devaluation of the currency. Inflation and deflation and stagnation is coming. Those things that are a luxury for us, Say, for example, the Lexuses, the Gucci bags, ribeye steaks, things like that. People won't be able to afford them later on, guys. Those things are going to carry a premium. And I hate to say it, those prices on those items are going to drop. Land prices are going to drop. House prices are going to drop. In three months in the fall, which would be about 90 days, guys, evictions are going to take place if, unless something's done to stop it. When evictions start taking place, people are going to have nowhere to live because they don't have the money to do so. So let that sink in. No money to live, no money to eat, which means they're going to be living off the government's welfare more than they do now. And some of them won't even have that. What are you going to have? A devalued currency that's been overprinted? The only reason the dollar has been held up for as long as it has is because it's the world's currency. Think about that, guys. The U.S. dollar is the world currency. We are the best case scenario of the worst cases. So the second the world decides, yeah, we don't want the U.S. dollar no more, we automatically overnight become garbage. I mean, we're already in the dumpster bin, but we haven't been taken to the trash heap yet. So you might want to just, like I said, add a few ounces to your name. Tell your friends, tell your family. Help them out a little bit, guys. Just let them know, hey, you wouldn't hurt you to add at least a couple ounces. One, two, three ounces, why it's still cheap. And guess what? If it does go up to 50 or 60 ounces, even if you bought one or two and you don't want it, you decide, hey, this isn't for you, well, guess what? Unless you're hurting for money, keep it. If you're hurting for money, sell it when it gets to a little bit of a premium price, and then you double your money. It's not a big deal. I was looking at the stock markets yesterday. There's about 25 or 30 big companies or corporations that are going bankrupt. Don't take my word for it. Go look it up, guys. These companies are filed for Chapter 13, not Chapter 11, Chapter 13. And the guys that I work with, they are talking about buying into those bankrupting companies. And my head hit my desk. And I'm not talking about, like, literally... I hung my head down in shame for these guys. And I was just like, holy crap, guys. Why are y'all going to keep doing all this stuff? You're going to keep buying into bankrupted companies thinking that they're going to come back. And they're like, well, Ford came back. And all these other companies came back in 2008. And now they're everybody who bought into it was multimillionaires. I'm like, yeah, but guys, but this is a little bit different. Those companies filed Chapter 11, which is a restructuring. The companies that are filing right now are Chapter 13. That's total bankruptcy. That's the selling of complete assets. So, let that sink in. Here's something else that's really neat for you guys. You might want to think about too when you go into buying silver. We as small time investors in silver or hedgers in silver, we could take our entire life savings and we would not honestly hurt the market. Yeah, we're taking silver off the shelves as a group. But as an individual, we don't physically hurt the, the market itself. Now, you let somebody like Jeff Bezos or Bill Gates or some of those bigger investors, hell, let Apple take just their, their cash value net worth and say, hey, we're going to hedge up with silver and gold. Just one of those companies taking their cash value net worth to hedge up their company in silver and gold could instantly crash the markets. They can single-handedly drive up the market so fast and overnight that we wouldn't even know what to do. We would actually become almost instant, at least 100,000 heirs or low-grade millionaires overnight, depending on what you have. Think about that for a second, guys. These companies can go up and buy in stocks of every single silver mine and gold mine in the world that are open to the public. They can buy them outright. And then they control how much silver goes where and what silver goes where. That's food for thought. Because silver is not just a money. It is an industrial metal. It's a medical marvel. I didn't realize how much of it 
was used in the medical field until recently. I started doing some research after I started hearing everybody talk about it. Yeah, I've always stacked it as money. But when you get into the medical side of things of it, that's something you definitely want to look at. Guys, this stuff has like a thousand and one uses in the medical field. And right now, even they are having trouble sourcing silver. Right now, we're on, we're on our third or fourth month of the mines being shut down. And silver is on a six to eight week backup order on most of the websites that I've been to to purchase from. So, if you buy now, your silver might not get to you till later. So, keep that in mind when you keep your powder dry. Just know you might have a delay in your shipments. Anyway, guys, I'm going to let you go. If you like what you hear, like what you see, if you have something you want to teach me, please like, share, comment below. Catch you guys on the next one. To all my new subscribers, thank you so much for subscribing. Get the word out there. I greatly appreciate it, guys. Thank you so much. Later.